The events that occurred in this house only days ago brings us together tonight to mourn the tragic loss of a family and to celebrate the beautiful lives of the individuals no longer with us. Tuesday, February 23rd, was witness to a heartbreaking tragedy for the Buckners, a family of five who fell victim to a domestic shooting and house fire in Phoenix. The lives of parents Vic and Kimberly, along with their two daughters, Emma, six, and Caitlin, 18, were taken by their 26-year-old son, Alex, who suffered from mental health issues. I had posted a status um, when I heard of her passing, and Cy Knowlton had messaged me, and she said, you know, we should do something. So I was like, yeah, let's, let's do something. So we kind of thought of what happened with Jeremy, and we were like, okay, that was really nice, having a candlelit vigil. Um, so we went and we tried to contact as much family as we could, and we were just like, all right, this is what we should do. And the next few days was just plan, 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 and it turned out pretty all right. <laughs> Friends of Caitlin Buckner, Ironwood High School graduates, assisted in organizing a candlelight vigil. Relatives and close friends gathered outside of the family home that following Sunday to mourn. A handful took to the mic, recounting many great memories and sharing the loss of loved ones. Lord, as I stand here today, I see something beautiful. I see support. I see people who care, but most importantly, I see love. I want to thank you for bringing us together, together to celebrate and cherish the lives of the family that were lost in this tragedy. The memorial was very heartwarming, and I thought that it was well-deserved, and they spoke greatly of everybody, especially the brother. I think it definitely went well. Um, I met a lot of her family through the vigil, um, and I think it's important to show, you know, what kind of impact they had. Because they had a funeral as well, but that was mostly like close family and stuff. I think it was kind of cool for at least the family to see how many people they didn't know about that really cared about the family. Um, overall, especially, <laughs> you know, the short planning and stuff, I think it went pretty well. I think a lot of people came out and exceeded expectations. A GoFundMe account was created in hopes of raising $50,000 to cover the family's funeral and memorial costs. At the March Spring Fling event at Emma Buckner School, Abraham Lincoln Traditional, a collection was set up for additional donations. After only one month, nearly half of the goal has been reached. You know, it was cool that everyone kind of came together and showed, especially like the Ironwood community, there were a lot of people that came together and were like, what can we do? And they were trying to be as helpful as possible. And I think that's kind of a cool thing to come out of everything. Um, and that it's important to just remember her and her family. And a huge thing that the family wants everyone to remember is they see the brother as a victim too, so. Yeah. <laughs>